Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you that you are calling us today to consider our ways and to put our hearts and our minds in order and in alignment with what you say in your word. Today we're praying through what it means to walk in love. We're reading Ephesians 5 verses 1 to 7. It reads, Therefore be imitators of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not even be named among you as is fitting for saints. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor coarse jesting, which are not fitting, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know, that no fornicator, unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of these things, the wrath of God has come upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. Wow, Lord, what strong words you're reminding us of today, Lord. Lord, you are a holy God. You are perfect and pure in all of your ways. That is why, Lord, you have no tolerance for behaviours that are outside of your nature. Lord, you're a good God, Lord, and even as we understand, it was at the very beginning that man decided to defy you, to go their own way, to disobey you, and the results have been catastrophic, Lord. So, Lord, as your believers, as your children who desire to walk in your way, walk in your will, and to please you in all of our conduct, we just pray today, Lord, that you would help us in every area that has already been named. Lord, help us to imitate you, not imitate the world. Lord, help us to walk in love as your son Jesus Christ walked in love, Lord, and walked in love so much that he sacrificed himself for the sins of mankind. Lord, that sacrifice truly was a sweet-smelling aroma, Lord, that has gone around the world over and over and over, saving our souls and giving us a chance to be in right standing with you. Lord, today we're asking, would you help us, Lord? Lord, for every behaviour that we have let creep into our lives or that we may have mislearnt about or we may have lied to ourselves about, today, Lord, we just pray that we would remember that you are a holy and a pure God and you are calling us to live holy, clean and pure lives before you to be that sweet-smelling sacrifice, just like Jesus was. Lord, when you see us, Lord, we're supposed to be a sweet-smelling aroma unto you. And we know that, Lord, you can't accept any stench. You can't accept any stench of the enemy in our lives and in our hearts. Lord, would you wash us clean today? Lord, would you wash us clean? Lord, where we have accepted not necessarily in our own lives, but in the lives of those around us, Lord, where we have accepted that fornication, which is sex outside of marriage, is okay. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you are restoring our minds and our hearts and you are laying down the reality of what you expect from anyone who is a believer. Fornication cannot be part of our lives. Lord, you're calling us, Lord, to lay down every wrong thinking. Lord, the world has such a strong pull when it comes to sexual things, Lord, and fornication and behaviours that they legitimise and suggest are completely fine. But Lord, that's not your standard. So Lord, where we've been corrupted in our heads, Lord, would you clean out every foolish thought, Lord, every lie of the enemy? Lord, would you get us back on track Lord, not necessarily because we are engaged in this, but because 
because we're hearing about it so much and because we're seeing it so much, Lord, our defences may fall. Our defences may fall. So, Lord, help us, Lord, to have our defences up, to see the danger and the damage that fornication causes. Lord, the danger and the damage, Lord, that the pornographic industry is causing to this nation. The danger and the damage, Lord, that the sex trafficking industry is having worldwide, destroying people's lives because of this spirit of fornication and sex outside of marriage, Lord. Oh, Lord, we cry out. We cry out, Lord, for you to move. We cry out, Lord, for you to change our hearts and our minds and our society. Lord, as Christians, would we be able to speak out and stand up, Lord, for the truth of what you have said here. Lord, you also talk to us, Lord, about our mouths, our behaviours, not being jealous and searching for what everyone else has, copying other people, making idols of money and people and jobs and careers and everything else, Lord, that's not you, of people even, of people worship. God help us, Lord help us today. Oh Lord, there is just so much that is wrong in our society. There is just so much that is wrong. So Lord help us not to be tainted, Lord, but to be righteous, righteous. Lord, we understand that throughout history, Lord, throughout the whole of the Bible, people have been tempted with wickedness, Lord God. But Lord, you've also shown us, Lord, that there are so many that have stood for righteousness and for goodness, Lord, and you've rewarded them for it. So help us, Lord, to be on the right side, the right side. Lord, we don't want to become sons of disobedience, Lord, because we've seen the wrath that comes upon sons of disobedience. Lord, we will not be partakers with them today. Lord, we choose you. Lord, we thank you that you are washing our minds of every empty word that's ever been spoken, that every lie we've ever believed. Lord, today we sever ever, every association, every affiliation, every agreement that we have made with the devil, Lord, and we say no. Lord, we are going to stand with you under the shadow of your covering, under the power of the Holy Spirit, under the bloodshed of your son, Jesus Christ, under your father, the arms, Lord. We are under you, we are with you, and Lord, we ask that you just give us a new chance, Lord. Lord, where we have fallen in the past, in our minds, in our actions, Lord, wash us clean today and help us, Lord, never, ever to trundle around in the devil's playground thinking that is an acceptable place to be in. Lord, help that clarity be straight in our minds today. There's your way and there's the devil's way. And Lord, today we choose to stay firmly on your side. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the thanks. And we thank you, Lord, that you are changing our hearts and our minds, even as we pray, even as we meditate on this. Above all, Lord, you're calling us to be loving, to walk in love, to be loving and to walk in love, Lord two areas that we are challenged in daily lord to exhibit your love to share your love despite the sin that we see in the world and to walk in that love which is walking in righteousness and understanding that we're loved by you and because we love you lord we don't want to grieve you we don't want to upset you we don't want you to be angry with us lord or to have to exercise your wrath on us lord Lord, we also pray for those who are embroiled in sin at the moment, Lord God, who are finding it hard to get out. Lord, would you do a miracle? Lord, would you would you untangle every chain that has been tied around them? Would you break links right now? Lord, would you set them free? Would you set us all free? In Jesus' name, I've prayed. <laughs>